Your time starts now. Chef, today you'll be working with peas, Alaskan cod, does this say leek, and some sort of fruit. Lemon plum. Lemon plums. Chef, your time starts now. So these are all prime fresh ingredients here. Let's just grab the leek. Uh, it's a little garlicky. It's a little bit like a chive, like a large chive. It can be a bit stringy. Some find the, the darker green parts to be a bit too chewy, but uh, it'll really depend on how he's gonna throw these together, I think. Right away, I figured I'd fry the cod and make some cod fingers. Some salt and pepper or something on it, but I have no idea. Tip from a former chef? Yeah, yeah. I'd uh, pick up the face. I have no idea. I've never opened one of these up. I love peeps. It's almost Easter, but nothing was coming to mind. I guess with like a little bit of peep in it with some of that. Who he is talking to and whether I mean, or not he thinks he's going to get no some man. help from the judges. Uh, it's, it's, right, it's really confusing the panel over here. He's just grabbed the flour and he's looking for breadcrumbs. So it sounds like he's gonna do some sort of a breaded fish. And that's a great idea with cod because it is notoriously tough and it's got some uniquely large flakes. It's actually a fish that, that stands up better to some like light frying. I have to say, he's really dived right into this. Unlike some other contestants. He might have a more positive outlook. I think she could have done more than a salad. Her basket ingredients might have been a little bit more difficult. You know, the fact that she had to bring in a sous chef is ridiculous. I like to see that he's seasoning at every stage of the process. It really seems like he knows his way around this kitchen. He knows his way around these flavors. I think where chef might run into some trouble is the peeps. Very sweet, great little marshmallow. Good in the microwave. I wonder if it'd be possible to create like a glaze out of the peep, like glazed salmon. The only way to really go is to scrape that sugar off the outside, but then you're gonna be stuck with that bright yellow color, <laughs> which could be difficult to incorporate. Putting it into the actual crumbs of the breading though, of the fish, it's an unusual tactic. Now the lemon plum, it has that name because of the way it looks, not because of the flavor. It does have a bit of a citrusy finish and a little bit of a floral finish as well, but it's mostly plum flavor. Are you eating his? I agree about the flavor. <laughs> Chef, you are down one lemon plum. There are 21 minutes left. This chef is flying along. We know he's got a breaded fish. How he's gonna cook it? Is it gonna be baked? Is it gonna be lightly fried? But what do you do with the leeks? How would you use the fish? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to cook fish. So he said he's making a bit of a sauce out of these lemon plums. I really feel like a sauce is what separates the amateur chefs from the quarantine kitchen masters. I'd say I'm most excited for the leeks and also most worried. If done right, the leeks plus the good. sauce can really tie everything together. 15 minutes, chef. 
Chef Brandon, he was flying along at the start. He knew what he wanted, he knew how he wanted it to taste. Very confident. Very confident. But now we're at the halfway mark and nothing is cooked. I feel like some distractions from the audience may play, may have played a factor. Quite chatty this time, the judging panel. <laughs> Quite chatty. So he not only has to cook the fish, but then he has to cook these leeks to completion. And yeah, this boy, one. that's... That's a tough task. This Alaskan cod is a very delicate fish, so it actually doesn't take too too much time to cook. Mainly the leeks and getting the plums off. He's gonna be feeling the pressure. I never cooked leeks. I just threw them in the pan with some spice. I thought they were gonna be a little more bitter. I've only ever had it in like a soup, so I figured it needed to be cooked long. Ten minutes, chef. Seven minutes left, he's got the fish frying, he's got a pan ready to go for the leeks. We've knocked off three of the ingredients, uh, but what we haven't seen him use are the lemon plums. He's gonna make a sauce, but uh, we have yet to see it started yet. You have two lemon plums now. Five minutes, chef. You need to be plating. Two minutes, chef. Get it on the plate. Trying to play, trying to cook the fish, do everything. Next time I would have got off to a hotter start. 15 seconds. Two, one, time's up. Complete. <laughs> wow! We got a little bit stuck with time there. I was gonna make some sort of sauce with the fruit and I ended up just throwing it in the pan with the leeks. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the judges think. Chefs, today I made for you a uh, cod finger with a leeks on the side with a nice Asian five spice. Um, we've got a little bit of light peat breading in there on the on the fish fingers, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. Thank you. It smells really good. It smells really good. Thank right. you. Pan fried leeks, pan fried lemon plum, and then the fried cool. fish. I like little tendies. Little tendies. Little tendies. little tendies. little tendies. I like all the herb you can see on there. You can see all the spices coated into the crust. Nice crunch. I don't see any of the blobs of it's a nice a nice brown though. Peep. So that's reassuring. Nice crust. Fish is cooked. Where was the lemon plum? So the lemon plum barely found its way into the dish. We did get it into the leeks, so I just tossed it in with just pan frying. And it's it is on the plate. That's so spicy. Is that the five spice? I think cayenne. I had some cayenne in there too. Mm. 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 I do love the, the flavor of pan fried leeks. I mean, it goes well with the fish as well. The leeks could have used some more salt, but otherwise, this is delicious. I think if I would have preferred the leeks and uh, fruit like chopped up small on top. The leeks with this fish that's seared perfectly, good crunch. Good it, is a, it is a mild sweetness. Mm. I got a seed. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That is the whole pit. The pit. <laughs> oh. It is a stone fruit. You yeah, do need to be aware of it. Mm. Chef didn't know there was a pit because Chef was afraid to eat it. I would say the leeks, even if it didn't have salt, <laughs> if the lemon plum was like pureed or like, mm. you know, blended as a sauce on top of the leeks, that would have added a perfect flavor. Because I think pan frying the, the plum, it did take all the sweetness out. It left the citrus oh, flavor, left the sourness, but all the sweetness seems to be gone. Some fresh component there would have been really nice. I really do like the heat. Mm. Yeah, the leeks good. Mm. This is really Plus, good. These are delicious though, I would eat these again. Chef, what happened to the, uh, to the sauce? Just ran out of time there. I think the sweet sauce could have been 
Yeah. Could have been the thing that fun. brings it all together. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, that would have been good. I like the incorporation of the teeth, I think. Mm-hmm. Where else did you to... bring it in? Yeah, it was only in the breading we had. Now, is that enough to highlight that basket ingredient? Now, I appreciate that the peep was not highlighted. So how he incorporated it as a sweetener. As we've all said, there's parts of the dish that lack a little bit of sweetness that would be needed to round it out. Mm. And there was that sweetness there and available. It's always tricky with a fried dish. It's always tricky with a fried dish, and it's always tricky (laughs) when you're using marshmallow peep. I found that a lot. For presentation, what did you guys think about? I thought it looked nice, if not a little simple, maybe. It didn't look like a mess. The leeks provided a nice contrast. I'm glad they were there for that bright bit of green color. Very fresh looking. Yeah, I could tell you rushed though. Yeah. I... There were splatters. For presentation, I give you a three out of five. <laughs> for creativity, how you used and highlighted all of the ingredients, how you wowed us, uh, where do you think he falls on that scale? Oh, I think awesome. it was well put together. I, I would have liked to have seen the sauce. I think he used if, the if fish he beautifully. Time. I think he used the leeks beautifully. It would have been nice to see more of the peeps. It would have been nice to see the freshness of the plum, but I, I did like that it was there. I'm really <laughs> impressed with how he used all of the ingredients. It, it really didn't seem to rattle him. And he's, this was a, a tough mystery yeah. bucket. So for creativity, we give you a four out of five. And then finally for taste, what did our panel think? I thought the leeks were fantastic. It, yeah, yes, it same. would have been nice to have salt. It wasn't flawless, but they were delicious. I would make that again in a heartbeat. The fish, it was crispy. I like the coloring. Mm-hmm. I like the crispiness. Well you mm-hmm. know I'm a crispiness uh, aficionado. <laughs> I think it was just tiny little steps that were missed, and I, I think that was a matter of timing. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if there was a chance for you to taste it, uh, a chance for you to think about it for a second, I think you would have gotten all that. So for taste, you have four out of five as well. And Brandon, that is a win. Thank <laughs> you.